Hello YouTube, my name is Original DS and welcome back to the countdown to Ultimate. Uh, and last episode we beat it with the duck, we beat Classic Mode with the Duck Hunt Duo and this episode we're gonna keep on going with Bowser Jr. And yes, we'll be playing as Bowser Jr. I could have chosen anybody else, but I thought, ah, let's not, let's do it with Bowser Jr. So as you can see, Bowser Jr. is in fact at a 5.5 because uh, not like most other characters I just did to try. I actually like Bowser Jr. He's a fun character to use. And yeah, okay, so that's everything already laid out. So let's go with these two because Robin is one of my mains. I love Robin. So getting him as a team uh, for a team would be great. Uh, yeah, this episode is also basically like the other episodes. It's, 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 a, it's in threes basically that I've been doing. Probably will change as time goes on. And I have more time to do them and less things to do. Uh, at the same time of recording these things. So, yeah! This is the same episode I talked the last episode I talked about Broly, the episode before I talked like the theories. This episode I'm gonna just, you know, talk about a crazy dream that I had today. Oh, and I just got super lucky. Like today, for whatever reason, I just, you know, had a weird dream. And I want to talk about this weir uh, weird dream because not like the normal weird dreams like, like I would normally have. I have normal weird dreams like it's stupid shit that happens. And like everybody has it. But for whatever reason, the dream that I had today was that there was a, a crazy... In, like there were two, technically speaking, invasions of Earth at the same time. One of them was by tree people. And the other one... And, wow, Robin got killed by the bomb dropping on him. And the other one was... And the more terrifying one, for whatever reason was little men I'm guessing I don't remember them them having a shape like little green humanoid creatures that would come in contact with you and like turn you into one of their own but you could be cured if you were wore something and if you you could protect yourself by wearing a silly hat it's weird I don't know it I, I didn't I don't even... I, I, it's a weird thing. It, it, the weirdest thing is that it, it was the second dream I had that night, not the first one. I had already woken up... No, that was actually speaking my third one. I don't remember the first two. But I woke up from it. This was the third dream I woke... Or the third time I woken up that from that, that night, and obviously the final one. I even woke up with a start for whatever reason. It was a, just a weird dream. Was, the green man kind of looked like... I don't know, like imps? Just green? I don't know. And it's not even like the things that you 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 wake up to or like the the night before would influence me because this again was the third time I woke up. I woke not the third. Tech. Anyway, speaking, the third time I went to sleep or I was in sleep because I woke up three in the or not, five in the morning to so go to the bathroom. Then I woke up at eight thirty. Because my uncle was making a lot of noise talking to my brother before my brother, after my brother came from school, because he didn't have a class, so my brother went back to bed like I'm not gonna be bothered, and then I woke up then to go and wake up my brother, and I had to because he w for him to go to school again, and that's when I had that dream on that third time going to sleep, and I just feel weird out because of it, because in that dream. I was driving and I do not have a driver's license and it's it was super like that that's how uh, in my dream me and my brother found about the, or these this two weird races coming to her was because I was driving the car and we were going to a mall I think it's weird and I, I, I kind of want to know what propelled that dream to happen wait where am I Okay, so just link now. Okay. And see, talking about the weird dream that I had got us through six minutes of... I uh, six, not six, four minutes. Jeez, how did I get to six? It's because I'm looking at my timer of full-blown recording and that goes at... It's at 36. And for whatever reason, I thought that the last time... Or the last episode began at 36 when it began at like 32 minutes of recording time. Uh, Charizard has something for me. And you can see I'm going for the most casual of routes. Mostly because, again, the uh, Smash is, or 4 has been a game that I didn't play for a while before. 
starting to play again for this uh, countdown for, for ultimate and probably after ultimate comes out I'll probably most likely never play this game again it's a shame this is a good game this was a good smash game and already done and that was super easy come on super easy I didn't even see everything that I got. Oh wow, only only Dark Samus, which is now a full-blown character, is in here. So after this I have the Fighting Me team and then the Master and Crazy Hand. Jesus, this is going by fast. Also, it seems like, um, or rumor right now, that uh, the... Um, Custom moves are not making a comeback, which I uh, both on one side I'm fine with it and the other one I'm not. I like the idea of custom moves and I think better implemented they could be great. That's the thing, it has to be better implemented and, it, and the Smash community does not want those things. It's it's a weird thing. To keep... I think the community sometimes hits hurts itself by not giving enough thing, to things a try. You know, like the dual stages and the final Smash meter. There was already people saying like that should not be competitive. I'm like we haven't, people have not even tried it yet, and we're, we already make, they already are making decisions about it. Like what should and should not be competitive or allowed in competitive games. It's like Jesus Christ, Smash Bros already is like I know it's a competitive game, but come on, have a little bit more fun with it. And I think some things would make improve Smash Brothers so much in the eyes of, of the viewer, of, especially the more casual viewer, which is. Who you also want to get? You want to get every you 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 want to attract new people into it, and by making Smash, uh, uh, ha uh, having more things should be done. Like one like one thing I heard like a game like a stage was or Tournament Island I think was what the reveal of Smash Ultimate. The, the 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 Tournament Island from someone is that the it shouldn't be legal in competitive play because it has water. And I could think was like. This is what esports is basically. We don't. We want everything off the skill and no luck. And I get it, not wanting it luck to be involved in a skill thing. But like, it's it's weird that like a thing like oh it has water. So the, but the characters swim. So it, it shouldn't be competitive because of ha it has water. And it's like, is that really that much of a bad thing? It has water. Yeah. What's the problem with that? Isn't that a good thing? Like adaptability, and that's the thing that I think I'm trying to get across before, I, but uh, getting super lost in it. That like, Smash is a game. Like most most video games, don't allow for variables. Like most fighting games, I should say. And I think that's a pro like trying to equate Smash Bros. as a fighting game. That it, yeah, it's it can be a fighting game. It's as fun as a fighting game, but and we treat it and it should be treated as a fighting game. But like sometimes. Smash can do things that no other fighting game franchise can, so why not allow it to do it? Like, and I think like things like the same, the, the the stage morph and um, these um, the final Smash meters should at the very least be tried out before saying it won't be. And by the way, I'm just gonna say this: if you're a competitive Smash player and you see water and the the fact that you have to adapt to how you play in a stage or the thing the the the, the stage morph because you cannot adapt or you don't want to adapt that's not being a professional that's not being competitive or better than most people that's being a coward you know just do it what well, adaptability is a part of sports and it should be a part of esports as well adapting to certain conditions and I, I think not giving something a chance is it, it's just it's ridiculous in any game no matter what it is, if you don't want to give it a, a, a shot, you don't know if you're gonna, if it's going, how well it's going to be. I think it will be much more interesting for the people, and I think it will be much more interesting for the players. You know, having to adapt, and like, I think that will be fun. But uh, that's just me. I don't know. I think that at the very least, the the trial should be given. It shouldn't just be like it's not happening and it's not happening. Good luck next time. I think that's a. I think that's my main issue. Is like the the whole not giving it a chance at the very least. I get it if you tried it and it was not a thing for competitive. It didn't work. It was not what we thought. I get it. But not giving it a shot. I think that's the mistake. 
No, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, man, I was pressing up and B game. Okay, I got done with this. Now I have to deal with the swords. Okay, not what I, not as much damage as I thought it was gonna be, or how many times it was gonna be. Jesus Christ, dude, stop it! Oh, oh I was gonna say, almost I dodged everything. Second time I dodged most of those, but then I, I got hit with the main one. Oh, but I got it. Good D. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot I have those. I forgot all about my down D. And come on, be done. Done! Yay! Come on, just break it! Okay, we're done! Yay! So that was one more episode of the Super Smash Brothers countdown to launch of Ultimate. Uh, we finally concluded Bowser Jr. and uh, we're uh, Good, uh, we're making good strides to the end to end this first week so yeah this is again when the video is going to end next episode join us at next episode for uh shulk from xenoblade chronicles so thank you guys for watching i've been the legend of the s see you guys next time